Well, Rassi's named his team for the first test match against Argentina coming up on Saturday in round five of this year's rugby championship. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the team with you. And make sure you check out how close I got to actually nailing this particular starting 15. Okay, let's get into it right now. G'day everyone and welcome to Inside Rugby with Mark. If you haven't been here before, my name is Mark. I'm a retired Kiwi bloke. I'm a huge rugby fan and I live here in beautiful Mexico. That's right, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the team that Rassi's just named to play against Argentina round five of this year's rugby championship on Saturday. So let's get into it. I wasn't too far off the mark with this one. So we'll start off and we'll have a look at the forwards and in the front row, Rassi's gone with Thomas De Toy, Malcolm Marks and also Ox in chair. And a great front row as I had predicted this particular front row and I think they will have too much starting off against Argentina but I think it's going to be a really great battle coming up in the front row. Now in this video I'm only going to be talking about the team selection. I'll be making a full preview show video for this game coming up after Argentina names their team when their head coach Felipe Contepomi puts his team list out. I'll put that video together. So moving forward now with the South African team and moving into the locks and the change here from what I had predicted I thought even Etzebeth might get the start in this particular game but Rassi's gone with Salman Morat and he's going to be the captain as well and he's going to be partnered with Ruan Nokia and that's going to be a great combination to see how they go. Will we see Etzebeth coming on quite early in this game off the bench? That's going to be one of the things I'm looking out for, as well as the line-out performance of these two against the Argentinians. I think that's going to be one of the areas of battle in this particular game. Okay, moving on to the loose forwards now and the back three of the forwards. What has Rassi done here? Well, he's gone with Ben Jason Dixon, which I'm pleased to see. He's gone with Marco Van Staden and he's gone with Jasper Visa. So that's going to be a very good combination, I think, to start the game for South Africa. I'm really excited to watch Ben Jason Dixon get another, another chance for the Springboks team. And I'm expecting him to have a big one. They're going to come up against a very good loose trio of Argentinian players. So this battle is going to be one of the ones that I'm really watching out for. Okay, so that's the starting eight. Now let's have a look at the backs. And uh, starting off at halfback, and it is Kobus Reinhardt. Some of you had said that you thought Jaden Hendrixy was going to start this game. I always thought it was going to be Reinhardt and Andre Pollard at 9 and 10. I just think Rassi needs to start off this game with a platform, get some superiority over the Argentinians, and then move forward with this game. Another element that I think is going to be very important is the score on the scoreboard. And with Pollard there taking penalty kicks at goal, I think this is something that Rassi really had in his mind when he came to the selection of this team. We all know Mani Labok can be a little bit temperamental when it comes to kicking penalty kicks, and I think Rassi wanted to start off on the front foot. So we're seeing Kobus Reinhardt and Andre Pollard in at 9 and 10, and then moving out to the centres, we're going to see that exciting player Lucano Arm back in the team for the Springboks. I'm really looking forward to seeing Arm at number 12 this weekend and seeing what he can do in combination with Jesse Creel, who will be playing at number 13. A very good centre pairing, I think, for the Springboks in this game. Okay, moving out to the wings now, and on one wing, we've got the new father of the Springbok team, Makazolo Mapimpi. His wife had a baby recently, congratulations to them. And on the other wing, we have Kurt Lee Ardenza back on the wing, which is great for all of his fans. He's a try-scoring machine, but I tell you what, I think Mapimpi's going to score the first try in the game this weekend. Just a gut feel on that one. Let's see how that goes. And then at fullback, we have Fussy coming back in, who I thought would get the fullback slot. And uh, he's very, very exciting for me. He's a great counter-attacker. And if Argentina does give him some high balls to contend with, let's watch for Fassi to come back and really return those balls with a lot of interest coming back at the Argentinians. So a great call at fullback there from Rassi. So there we go, that's the starting 15. Now let's have a look at the bench for the Springboks. Okay, let's have a look at the bench that the Springboks are bringing into this game. And of course, it's a 6-2 split. And we're going to see Steenkamp. We're going to see Vincent Koch. We're going to see Jan-Henrik Vessels coming in, which is fantastic. 
Eben Etzebeth is in there. We've got then Quagga Smith and we've got Lowe. So that's a very good bomb squad to come off the bench. And then the two backs selected for this game is Jaden Hendricksy at halfback and of course Manny Labok coming in as the utility back replacement which we pretty much expected for this game. So I think this is a really good team by Rassi. It's pretty close to the team that I had picked and put out the other day. We'll see how those players go that are different to what I said when they start the game. That's going to be very interesting to watch. Now, once the Argentinian team has been named, I'll be putting out a preview show video. That'll go into a lot more detail talking about the game itself, the strategies around what I think the coaches are going to do, some of the matchups we can look for in terms of the key positions, and whether or not we're going to see a lot of kicking in this game. That's something else to consider as well. And then on the other side, once we have the All Blacks and Australia teams named, I'll do a preview show for that game as well. So we cover everything to do with round five of the Rugby Championship this year, right here on Inside Rugby with Mark. If you are enjoying my content, then here are five ways that you can continue to support my channel, and I would be very, very grateful for that. Just remember, as a retired bloke sitting here in Mexico, all I'm trying to do is to help the beautiful game of rugby grow across the world by sharing my passion with it, uh, with you online for the beautiful game of rugby. Okay, well there we go. That's Rassi's team to play against Argentina on Saturday. I'll be back again really soon with some more content. Until then, you stay safe, stay well, keep enjoying your rugby no matter where you are in the world, and I'll see you again very soon from right here in beautiful Mexico. Until then, it's bye for now from Mark. <laughs>